What's up guys, Holden here, HVOD Fitness. So the last video I just posted was kind of just a combination of like um, knee techniques to help with uh, knee pain and a little bit on the whole healing process. So I want to elaborate a little bit more on the whole healing process that was, I kind of went over but then really uh, have a beginning to it. So this is kind of the beginning of that. Um, so if you have a swollen joint, okay, let's say your knee, okay, the whole idea is that you want to get that joint moving, okay, so try and prioritize movement first, um, but here's the problem, you know, it is painful because of that inflammation process um, and all the fluid going into that joint. But the goal is to try and prioritize that movement, okay? So, um, if you do have an ankle problem, let's, let's just take ankle for example. So, let's say you sprain your ankle. Um, if you really want to get through a fast healing process, the, the goal is to put that ankle through a range of motion, okay? Try and move your foot around. At best, try and start walking, okay? Um, and, and then from there, if that doesn't work, we go back to the compression, okay? So you want to compress that foot down, which is pretty easy if you have like glue floss, um, even like bicycle tubing, okay? Just some sort of elastic rubber band, um, you know, just a big band. You could even use the uh, resistance bands. So you tie it around, okay? Use elevation to get that uh, joint and help it help it with uh, gravity. Okay, so elevate it, compress it. Um, for example, if you're doing it on your feet, try and get that band as close to, to your toes and over the area because you want to pull everything, all the fluids, back to the heart. Okay, because that's where the lymph system will come into play, and that's so you just want gravity to help you and some compression. The next thing you're going to do is apply some sort of heat. Okay, so what heat's going to do is not only is it going to loosen up those muscles, but it's going to promote blood flow and um, blood flow is going to come in and when those muscles are looser, you, there's hopefully you can activate them a little better because when you have looser muscles, when they're nice and warm, oxygen's getting there, blood, you have the ability to contract them a little better opposing them being freezing cold. So, if you can get them cold, uh, hot, hopefully you can put them through a range of motion, okay? So, this is what I do. Try and prioritize movement. If you can't do that, try and compress it, okay? Try and get all that fluid back into the lymph and um, get it back into the bloodstream by, um, you know, promoting that compression, which will move the fluid, okay? And then next thing, try and get some heat. So heat will bring in new blood, it'll loosen up those muscles, hopefully you can contract them and further that process. The problem with icing though is that when you ice, you're going to stagnate that blood, you're going to cut off that inflammation process, okay? And here's the deal, your body is so, so, so smart, okay? So it's not going to work if you think ice it's going to outsmart your body, okay? That's not going to happen. Um, you know, I used to be a big fan of ice, but after kind of learning about this, I, I before I understood about the inflammation process, how, um, you know, inflammation is a good thing. You want it. Um, it promotes healing. But there's a point where if you use icing too much, um, you know, it's gonna stop that process, okay? So if you're icing the joint, it's gonna stagnate the blood, not gonna allow it to get back into the lymph, and uh, there are studies that'll actually push the fluid back into the joint, into that um, spot of irritation even more, okay? So that's not good, okay? So here are just some tips that I want you to try and do next time. If you have a swollen joint, try and just get it moving, okay, walk, 
do something. Um, if it's your knee, try and contract, try and flex it, uh, extend it. If you can't do that, then try and lay down, compress it with something, try and get that fluid back into the lymph. If you can't do that, then um, you know, apply heat and see what the heat will do. Hopefully the heat will loosen up the muscles enough that you can get them through some range of motion. Um, if you can't do that, then it's best to just rest. Because that, but rest without any sort of drugs, ice, because what happens guys is anytime you cut off that inflammation process, you're really furthering that healing process. It's going to take longer and longer and longer. Okay, and yes, you are cutting off the pain, but you need that pain and that inflammation to actually heal. It's kind of a very intriguing process, and that's why your body's so smart. So, t just for once, guys, maybe use heat a little more, compress it, and try and get that joint moving. Okay. Um, there you go guys, just a little spiel on healing. See ya.